is it hot or what? What's up guys, my name is Double D and today I wanted to tell you about 5 games I played as a kid. I've always been into games, ever since my parents got us our first computer, I've been playing all kinds of games. At the time, internet still wasn't around, so it was kind of a struggle to find games. You either had to borrow a game from a friend or a relative, or you had to buy a CD. And I was kind of lucky because my dad always used to bring us games from work and from his colleagues. And also my brother would always let me borrow his games. So yeah, I had my fair share of games when I was a kid and today I wanted to share that. Also on this channel I've already played some old school slash throwback games like Trackmania Nations, Feeding Frenzy and FMX Team. And with this video I wanted to kind of round up that old school theme because I feel like that's enough of old school games. I want to get into some newer games like Advanced Warfare maybe or Fortnite, we'll see. But let's begin with the list. At number 5 we have Zuma. Now if this is your first time hearing about Zuma, it's gonna seem pretty boring. It's a tile matching game that requires precision and good reflexes and of course it gets harder as you play. Now objectively speaking it looks like it's just another boring game you play on your phone but man this game was so much fun to play when I was a kid. So you have to destroy all these balls before they get to the skull and you get these power-ups like slowdown ball, sniper ball, ball explosion and stuff like that and each time you pass a stage the balls move faster and have more complicated paths. But yeah this used to be so much fun to play and it was frustrating too. I don't think I ever beat this game, it gets really hard after a while. I remember my dad playing this like almost every day, he loved this game so much and he was really good at it. That's like the one game he was better at than me and I was always low-key kind of mad about that. Anyway, number 4 is Hercules. This is a Disney's game from 1997 actually, I didn't know it was that old. Anyway, I used to play this all the time with my sister and this game really marked my childhood. I love everything about it, the art style, the gameplay, the bosses were so much fun. I'm pretty sure I've beaten the game like several times, but every time I came back to it, it was a different experience. And of course, it's Greek mythology and all the characters and creatures were really interesting and unique. Number 3. Santa Claus in Trouble. Now this was a raging game. My sister and I would always compete and try to beat the game and I think we did once or twice, but I can't really remember. Anyway, it's a platforming PC game that seems really easy, but if you play it for a while, you just start rushing it and try to get to the harder levels, but then you die on the easier ones because you're rushing. Yeah, I used to rage a lot on this game, but it was fun at the same time. I liked the challenge. At number 2 we have Digging Gym. Now if Santa Claus in Trouble was a raging game, this is the ultimate rage game, okay? And with the same reason as Santa, you think you've learned how to pass a level and then you try to go through it quickly and then you die in the dumbest way possible. So that was frustrating, but other than that, the game is awesome. You're this fluffy little ghost who goes around collecting diamonds and escaping from all the horrible looking enemies. The game has awesome pixel art and there are actually 100 levels to go through. Of course I had the trial version so there were only 20 of them but they were still challenging. And the one thing I really liked about this game is that you could make your own caves and then play them. So that was kind of the 90s version of Super Mario Maker today, which is crazy. Anyway, before I get to number one on the list, I have some honorable mentions here. And these are not really games, but more like collections of Sega Genesis games. And they're called 256 games and MAME32. I'm not sure how you're supposed to pronounce that, but whatever. 
So these two had games like Sonic, Tiny Toon Adventures, Bomberman, Aladdin. There were some fighting games that I don't know what they were called. But yeah, that was probably something I spent most of my time doing as a kid. Just exploring all those games, playing, trying to beat them. And finally, at number one, I have the first game I've ever played in my life. Beachhead 2002. So you're a soldier in a base or a bunker and you have all these forces of enemies coming to kill you. There are planes dropping down enemies and crates, there are helicopters and tanks shooting at you, there are rockets flying in the sky, all kinds of things. So I think I was maybe 5 or 6 years old when I first played this and now that I'm seeing the game almost 15 years later I can't believe how much I remember it. I vividly remember all the details from the game and how you're supposed to play it. That's crazy. But yeah, this game also gets really hectic after playing it for a while. I think the best I've done in this game is level 12 or 13, something like that. But seeing this game after a long time is such a throwback. So that was my list. Those are the games I played the most as a kid. Let me know in the comments what games you used to play and I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.